Okay, this is John. It's back here, and uh, I've had an opportunity to work on the rear leg, rear legs of my robot. This is going to be um, this is the left two-axis joint, and then this is this is the right two-axis joint. You can see that it moves in the what is that? It's used as my z-axis, and then this will be my x-axis. And one of the things I kind of was pining over of how I was going to get it to work was getting this anchor. This uh, this is a this is a thirty-tooth timing belt pulley, and I wanted to get this rigidly affixed to this axis so that I could turn against. I could turn the uh, x-axis against it, so it'll go back and forth like that. And then this axis will turn against this anchor. Okay, so I, I uh, got this right side apart so I can kind of show you how it goes. These, you're going to have a quarter inch that actually, the biggest function of this quarter inch bolt is not just to hold it, but to keep it from flip-flopping like this. Um, I was really worried about that. I was thinking I was going to have to get a piece welded to this and I was going to have to create this ridiculous bracket and it was going to be so bulky and heavy that I really was going to like it. But... After actually putting this together, I found that the um, what really does the job is the 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 quarter inch bolt. If I try to flip this in this direction, it doesn't really go. And it's the the triangulation it has is the point that the bolt is actually in the one inch pipe, uh, one inch tube from here to here. Um, so it's got quite a bit of leverage to keep it from flip flopping in this direction. And then to keep it from twisting, that's what I got these two number tens for. And they all, of course they also keep it from flipping in that. Flip, um, flippy direction like that too but this is a really really rigid thing it, it does once I tighten this up I can feel you can feel on the other side that it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't flip or move or turn or anything and I don't know if this looks familiar to you this is actually a, a one inch it's a one inch diameter by one eighth inch uh, spacer this is a mounting spacer from from Actobotics and you know, all Actobotic stuff is number six, and I'm trying to get this thing to be able to, as strong as I can. I ended up drilling out this center hole to a quarter inch. It was originally um, for a number six hole, which is 964, so I think I drilled that out to a quarter inch. And then two of these on the left and right side here, I drilled these out to, um, I drilled these out for the, the number 10, which is 3 16 And so I got, I can, I put those on there. And this is really cool. I can I can put as many on here as I need. I ended up I tried doing it with two, but I ended up um, having to put four on here. Uh, that goes on there like this. And check this out: the bearing that allows you the bearing that uh, the pivot bearing to go around the outside of those things. If I can get it on, I don't know what's going on here. That's not going on for some reason, but that, that is the bearing for this guy right here. And that goes, I'm not going to try to assemble it here because I have to take this all apart, but um, that goes, that bearing goes through this side, the, allowing the rigid mount to pass through this hole and, uh, and I can rigidly hold this um, I got this this is your quarter inch bolt uh, I still have to put a bearing right here which will allow me to mount this even more rigidly than it mounts now but I still have to do that um, so right now I just I tighten that and I back it off a little bit and then since I'm these bolts are so close together they're uh, on the Actobotics on the Actobotics dimension there, that's half of uh, 770, so it's like whatever that is. It's uh, 350 plus, 350. It's, you know, it's like half of 485 or whatever from here to here. And they're so close that I actually can't put this bolt on because it's too close to the quarter inch thing. I'm running out of real estate. I end up putting these guys, these spacers on. These are just little number 10 quarter inch risers so that I can tighten this up right here and uh, the two number 10s are holding that thing really it's uh, pretty good you tighten those up and it doesn't move a bit and so that you have here it is just assembled on the other side 